what you are going to see are home movies meant for family use and not for public viewing. Therefore, you will have to excuse all the deficiencies which are quite inseparable from ventures of this kind. Whenever you see an English title in the movie, the picture has been taken by Mark Brunswick. When you see French titles, the pictures have been taken by Princess Marie Bonaparte during her visits to Vienna, during our stay in Paris, and during her visits to London in Maresfield Gardens. This will show you my father's mother, my grandmother. We used to visit her uh, every Sunday morning. That was a tradition in the family. She was a very lively, energetic old woman, loving life, not far from her 90th birthday. There's, uh, this is uh, one of her daughters-in-law, my uncle Alexander's wife, Sophie Freud. My grandmother was very concerned with looking nice and not too old. As you see, she had lovely white hair. Well, every Sunday morning, the family gathered in her house, and she was very proud of them all. Here you see my father with his very beloved dog, Jofi. And uh, this is Mrs. Brunswick, the wife of the, ma of the friend who took the photographs. My father is here with a very old friend of his who already went to school with him in Vienna. He later became an archaeologist, professor of archaeology in Rome. He used to come to Vienna once a year in the autumn and then inspected the new additions to my father's antique collection. And they stayed great friends all their lives. He was especially nice, lovable man. In this picture, neither of, two, of these two men knew that they were photographed. And that, that is why the whole thing is so natural. My father didn't like to be photographed and usually made a face when he noticed it. <laughs> but here he didn't know. I think this is really the best picture of the whole movie. Again, my father and Jofi. She was a beautiful chow, very affectionate, very lovable. My mother on the left and her sister, Mina Bernays. Not our house at all, a rented house. Visitors are coming. This is Marie Bonaparte.
My father addressed and reading. These gardens were very welcome changes from Berger's in 19 to my aunt Minna Bernays, my mother's sister. Another summer near Vienna, and this time it is the day of my parents' golden wedding. And now you will see a whole string of visitors. Uh, people from the country, from a little farm I had there, bringing country products. A little girl uh, <laughs> called Anna Dorothea. You will see the various gifts arriving. This is uh, one of my father's sisters, one of those who died in concentration camps. Meets you for it. This is a granddaughter, Sophie, my eldest brother's daughter. My brother Martin on the left, my brother Ernst on the right. That's me in the background. I think more presents are coming. My sister-in-law, my mother, uh, that's till Brunswick, <coughs> meant to bring something. <coughs> she wasn't quite sure that she wanted to give it. It's me displaying a beautiful dress. Back to town. This is Marie Bonaparte in the waiting room, waiting for her analytic hour. These are just pictures of the waiting room, uh, the house where my father was born. That's a Fujiyama. Other pictures in the waiting room of Annelies Ferenczi, Anton von Freund. This is, uh, all these pictures are still there. Uh, it's all the waiting room, and the waiting room is now in Bergasse very much it's restored as it was then. It was also the room where the psycho beginning psychoanalytic society gathered for the first years, a small room really. This is my father's desk, his daily notes. Marie Bonaparte, Yvette Gilbert, some of the antiques, all to be seen in Maresfield Garden still. The Gradiva, Ernst von Fleischl, the Abu Simbel Temple, 
one tank figure, the Sphinx, the, the Egyptian plough, all pieces of the collection. My father is a boy. My grandmother is etching made of my father. My father and mother, again, in one of the summer rented houses. The little girl is still Brunswick, and Mark Brunswick took the photographs. This was at the time when we couldn't leave Vienna anymore in the summers because of my father's illness. And so we took a house in the suburbs where there were gardens to be out of town. And my father enjoyed the flowers so very much. But whenever there is a French title, it's uh, Marie Bonaparte who has taken the pictures. When there is an English title, it's Mark Brunswick. Now visitors, Arnold Zweig, the novelist, with his wife and son, it's Arnold Zweig, And Dr. Eitigon, it's, I'm sorry, it's so short for Dr. Eitigon, it's a very good picture of him. Now that alone is the successor of Jofi, the next show. A very affectionate animal. It's me. That's the courtyard in Berggasse. Instead of the gardens, that's the window of my father's study. Now this is already Hitler in Vienna. That's our house looked with the swastikas on it. Oh, and that is the crowd cheering Hitler. Look at the crowd. The crowd, that's how it looked. That's some stranger. Now emigration. We left London and uh, by a night, we left uh, Vienna by a night train and spent a day of rest in Paris on that terrace on top of the princess's house. My father was very tired from the trip and the rest of That's uh, her husband, Prince George. My brother Ernst, who came to Paris to meet us. And Dr. Strauss, who came with us as my father's doctor at the time, because his heart was not very steady and he needed some medical assistance at times. He had hoped to be too tired from the trip and so it was resting. This is Prince Waldemar of Denmark, and this chow is tattooed, belonging to the princess. And you will see then how the two dogs meet. Our chow Lin was a little wary of the big tattoo and came for protection very near 
to my father's couch. That is Tatoon, a beautiful animal. But Lynn didn't like it much. You can see it, yeah. But it was a beautiful day in Paris. My brother Ernst, Dr. Stoss, My father's physician, Dr. Max Schur, was incapacitated by appendicitis at the last moment, and so it was managed to get an exit visa for, for Dr. Strauss to accompany us instead. So we all gathered there on the terrace. From Paris to London, and a rented house in Ellsworthy Road, near uh, bordering on Primrose Hill, with a very nice little garden. You will see the pond a little later, for a month. To, uh, this is Mademoiselle Berman, the princess's secretary. This is Paula, our housekeeper, still with us. My sister Matilde with the princess. Now that is when three men of the Royal Society came to present the book of the Royal Society for signature to my father because he was not well enough to go there. Here they are, here they are coming to be photographed. There was a very nice moment. Now you will see my father with, his, with two of his grandsons, Lucian Freud, now a painter, and Stephen Freud. There's a little pond in the garden, as I mentioned before. There are watching for the goldfish. I don't think they knew then that they were photographed. Uh, uh, Now, when Lynn, our chow, had to go into quarantine, we bought <laughs> this little Pekingese jumbo, uh, uh, hoping that my father would take to him as a replacement, as a temporary replacement. Well, but I think he remained very loyal to Lynn. Dorothy Burlingham. Now, visitors, Ernest Jones, a very good picture of Ernest Jones and his wife, Catherine Jones. I think an extraordinary photograph of her. A very nice couple. And they used to be frequent visitors. Now it's coming. That's the princess's daughter, Eugenie. 
when she came, she took these photographs. And this is already the garden in Maresfield Gardens. We had this couch put up for my father to rest. That's in his last year already. Oh, this is definitely a birthday. Uh, flowers. Oh, that's a wonderful little, like, golden thing. It was a very favorite piece. It was stolen afterwards by burglars who broke in in the night. It's the last birthday. Well, this is Paula, who always insisted that the dogs, as you see, Lynn has returned, the dogs should congratulate, which the dogs didn't like to do. The birthday table again. flowers. My brother Ernst, his wife, Lucy. Now, poor Jumbo has to f go and congratulate, and he doesn't like it. My brother Martin, My father goes back to his studio to have some peace and quiet, and Jumbo follows. <laughs>